Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I thought I would do a very quick tutorial on how to make your own dashboards um, because I have had like lots of people asking, um, you know, where I've been purchasing the ones that I've been using in, in front of my Stalogy. Um, and I just wanted to show you how quick and easy they are to make using the program uh, a free program so you can see some of the ones I've used in the past for Christmas um, and then a couple of autumn ones so this is one that I just made now um, just as a quick test so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. it is so so easy um, and actually doesn't take that long at all so obviously what you're going to need first of all are images that you want to use so Canva, this is this is where you go, you go to canva.com. They do actually offer some images that you can use for free, but a lot of them are going to be um, like for the pro version, which you have to pay for. But I use this other website as well called pixabay.com. And these are all royalty free photos. So it means they, uh, you know, you have permission to use them basically. Um, so you just type in something, you can do like fall cozy or autumn cozy or hot tea or autumn pumpkins, whatever you want and it will come up with all the images you know available for you and you just pick one, let's say you like that, pumpkin spice, you just click on free download and I always just go for the recommended size that they offer and press download I'm not a robot um, it does ask you to do this sometimes if you are not signed in uh, okay download so now that has been saved to your computer okay let's just close that for now so again these are all photos that you have permission to use and um, there's so much stuff on there. You could even search for like watercolor drawings. It will come up. Um, yeah, like you could do, let me show you quickly. Like if you did watercolor books um, or watercolor fox. Okay, so again, you just use them in exactly the same way. You just click on it and press download. So now we've got our images, let's get on to creating the design. So you go to create a design and you're going to put in custom dimensions. So I use um, inches, you can use others if you want. My Stalogy is 5 by 7, so that's what I put in. And so you get a blank canvas here now, which is 5 by 7 inches. Um, like I said, you, you can go here to photos and I'll show you quickly, like if you searched for, you know, some of the images that they offer, it will show you at the bottom here whether it's the image is available for free for you to use or it will have a little crown on it which shows that you have to either purchase this image for 99 pence or you can sign up for their subscription. I think it's a monthly fee. I'm not sure how much. And then you get access to absolutely all their images, I think. But like I said, it's really not necessary because a lot of these pictures you can just get for free on Pixabay anyway. Um, but even the free ones they offer are very beautiful and more than enough. So let's say you wanted to use one of their ones. You literally just click and drag. If you wanted to save it, like you, you, you know, let's say you're working on a project and you come across an image that you think I'd like to use that, but not for this project, you just click on the three dots at the top and you can add it to your likes, and then that will save in your, oops, in in your account. I've just removed that because I don't want to save that. Um, but yeah, and then you basically just play around with the sizing. So you can make it bigger, smaller, you can decide where you want to put it. It has purple lines to show you where the center is exactly. Um, 
you can, I'm going to delete that one and show you with this, you can fill the whole page with it. Um, I don't want to do that. You can, and then you can layer other images on top if you want. Um, you can crop it. So let's say you didn't want this whole thing, you just wanted a bit of the trees. You can crop it like that. Um, so I always start off with an image um, in the middle and then put other smaller ones around the edges. But let's go back to the images that we downloaded from Pixabay or that you might have already, like if you wanted to make a photo collage, you might have images already on your computer. So then you, in that case, you wanna to go to uploads. And these are ones that I've already uploaded from previous projects. But we go to upload an image or video, click on device, and um, these are, you know, it's going to bring you up to all the images or you can navigate your way to like whichever folder you keep your, um, you know, and you can do multiple at the same time. So I, you know, like if you go to photos or wherever, um, but you can do like multiple images at the same time and it will just upload them all. So I'm actually going to delete these. Actually, I'll leave them for now. So. I want this image in the middle, so I'm going to just stretch that out, well, size it out. I like to leave like a little bit of a white border around my images when I'm making these dashboards. I just think it gives it a bit more of a polished look, but obviously you can go edge to edge if you want. Um, if you see here, like just a little bit of a white edge, um, but you can take it out you know, all the way if you wanted to. Um, and then let's add a little fox down here this time. I think that looks cute. So I'm gonna just crop him in a little to get rid of all that white space. Um, you will probably have to resize him a little bit just to get him kind of squeezed in there. I do want like a little bit of um, white space there. Actually, I'll have it here. So to have a little white space in that corner, um, happy with that. I don't know why it's leaving a huge white gap there. Um, there probably is an easier way to resize these. Um, but like I said, I'm not a professional, so I'm just kind of showing you how I do it. When you've clicked on an image, there are these um, other options here. So you could use um, the flip option and that makes the fox turn the other way. You can obviously do that upside down. Um, crop, you know, I just find it easier to crop this way, but you can use their, um, you know, kind of cropping tool. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, color, all of that. You can add filters to it, so if you wanted it to be like black and white, again, you have to make sure you're clicked on the image that you're trying to, um, you know, edit. I'm going to keep it as it is. And then there's also effects, um, you know, I don't, I don't really use these, so I, yeah, you, you'd have to play around with it to figure out what they are. Um, but let's just continue with this. So let's put the leaves at the top here. So uh, I think I'll, I like the top corner of those leaves. So I will crop it from the bottom. And you, you don't have to have like equal sizes. Obviously you can have like a big image here and then two smaller ones, or you could have three in the bottom, you could have one bigger one and a small one, um, you know, however you want to line up the images, you could have like three, you know, long vertical um, horizontal ones, um, there is no rules, this is your creativity board, you get to decide how you want, you know, your dashboard to look. Um, I think I prefer the scarf to be in, so I'll kind of do that and I can 
make it a little bit bigger and then the very last oops I didn't take, leave a white border there the very sorry I am kind of going through this really quickly just to show you guys but basically this is my process I just click drag resize play around with it and I will show you the one I made earlier so this is the one I made earlier in exactly the same way and once you've got your image how you want it you've got all the pictures that you want um, let's see if he looks no I like it better you basically go to download and you can save it in different formats I usually just go for PNG which is a high quality image which is the suggested one anyway and press download and that is literally it guys that is going to save on your computer now and all you have to do is press print so I already have photo paper like 5 by 7 photo paper um, in my printer so I would just literally go print and click the 5 by 7 borderless and that is how it is going to print if you want to tip this inside your planner I would suggest printing it on like thin you know some kind of thin paper you could print it on vellum acetate you know whatever you wanted and in that case you know you would print a four size or even when you're designing um, you know when we made the custom designs at the beginning you would put in whatever size you want um, I'm going to show you like there are other options here that I'll let you guys play around with but there is a really cool text um, option so if you wanted to add like font or take a picture out and put a little quote in there you can do that so you can add a heading a subheading you know if you wanted um, so if for example we added a heading then a subheading so you could have and then you just change the text as you want uh, let's say hello autumn whoops <laughs> add over you can obviously change the font again with the fonts some of them are going to be a you know pro version which we can't use but I find that there is actually plenty here that we can work with for example that um, I'm going to delete that one um, another thing that they do with the text is they actually have um, their own font combinations so you can have a look through that they you can actually search I think if you search like um, let's do chill anything that's you know related to that will come up and you can just click and drag that resize it you can actually even change the colors so if I wanted um, let's go for blue you know um, so it is really cool um, again like I said you could just delete the box and just have text there and play around with the sizing the colors you could add your own like here we've added hello autumn you can also change the color of that the possibilities are endless guys it is so so easy so fun um, give it a try uh, like I said I'm definitely not a professional at doing this this is you know just something I put together and if it's not perfect it doesn't bother me it's just you're going to create something that's so uniquely you nobody else is going to have you know exactly the same dashboard as you personalize it you know mix up your own pictures with you know pictures um, from either Canva or Pixabay yeah have fun um, and if you do try it please share with me on Instagram I absolutely love 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 seeing you know you guys um, create stuff so tag me or send it to me in my DMs and I love sharing it on my ch um, Instagram stories as well so I will do that 
and thank you for watching I hope that was useful I will see you guys in my next video take care guys bye